I think this is another thing that's another a missing piece of the puzzle. And I would call this, uh, it's a test that you and I can't do, Mark. You know what that is? Uh, no. Checking for checking for EMF uh, uh, exposure and toxicity. Yeah. And I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this interesting story. because well, You can this, test uh, for it. Those Geiger counters. You got, I had one in my apartment. Well, I know. Right. And I went like, yeah, 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 like yeah, I said, yeah. not safe to be in the apartment. <laughs> Right, right. But it's it's not like and essentially when you go to see and this is on my radar now because uh, we are uh, energetic beings. We are uh, beings of electricity. So when we want to measure our heart, we measure the electrical activity of the heart called the EKG. We measure electrical activity of the brain called the uh, EEG. And I had this patient and his main complaint was he said he was EMF sensitive. Now, if you go to a regular doctor and you tell the doctor, I'm EMF sensitive, they, they, they think you're a wacko and you got to, you're going to put a tinfoil uh, hat on and, you know, call you crazy. Well, when I actually listened to this guy uh, and I got his whole story, his, his symptoms started after he had some dental implants. So he had some titanium dental implants and uh, he had about four or five uh, uh, titanium dental implants. And that was about the, the only thing that I could sort of correlate with when his symptoms started and, and what was going on. And I, I you know, asked him about his, his I, we, we did a podcast about the oral systemic uh, health connection. And um, uh, lo and behold, I did a little bit of research after speaking with him. And it's in the literature that when you put uh, titanium implants in the mouth, uh, they act as like antennas and they can actually uh, 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 um, uh, augment wow. uh, EMF wow. activity. Just like, and you, you know this because if you take a fork and you put it in a microwave, what happens? It sparks, okay? Metals attract electrons. So it, it, it'll, it'll have resonant frequencies. So you got to think about all of these different things. And it's not necessarily uh, a metal uh, allergy, but there are some people who, for whatever reason, tend to be more EMF sensitive. Um, and it's a, it's a real phenomenon. And I, I just bring that out because um, I'm seeing that and it's on my radar. And I, you know, we can't draw a blood test or a urine test to check for that, but it's a real phenomenon. 